And what did Moshe Rabbeinu, how did he change the perspective of Aaron? He spoke about the fact that Akish Bofa picked these two, not Moshe, not Aaron, Gedelim Mimeni Umemchol. And the simple explanation is he was not addressing the fact that Aaron was right, that there was an Avera involved. He was offering a different perspective. True. But who was taken and why were they taken? Because they were the greatest in Claudius' role. Focus on that by Yidda and Aaron. But in reality, there's a deeper explanation of this. Ah, uh, Moshe Rabbeinu was teaching Aaron something remarkable about Mrs. Nodaba view that Aaron didn't realize originally. Aaron understood that this was a gestelte simcha, that this was a simcha that should have been completely without any pain. And because of this hate that Nodaba view did, Hashem is more kibriyot had no choice but to cut short their life right there and then and mar the beauty of the Simcha. And Moshe Rabbeinu revealed to Aaron that that's not the explanation. Moshe Lamar Dovadema. Imagine a person who's somewhat musical and he hears a recording of a beautiful symphony. And in the middle of the symphony he hears jarring noises. And he says to himself, someone must have recorded this in a kitchen where a woman was using some great machinery. And the other person says to him, you're not musical enough to realize. You'll hear this piece a few times and you'll see. That, that note that seems to be so at odds with everything else, that's what creates the beauty of the whole piece. It takes a depth to understand it. Moshe Rabbeinu said to Aaron, who Hashem Neymar, HaKadosh Baruch who had this planned out in advance. I now realize that this is what HaKadosh Baruch was telling me many months ago. V'nikdash v'chvaydi. Part of the program of Rishchayish Nisim will be Misas Nodavavil. It's necessary for the fullness of the program of the aim of Rishchayish Nisim to have this incredible tragedy happen to Shaz Maisa. It's necessary, and because of that, Aaron understood that Akedush Bochu, with his decide of Yediyah and Bechira, knew in advance that they would do this hate, knew in advance that they would be killed, and this was necessary by Yidim Aaron. If this is part of the Kiddush Hashem that's needed for the Yayim of the Simchas Libre Shal Akedush Bochu, then I accepted it by Abba. How are we to understand why this form of Kiddush Hashem, this Kvayt Shemayim of Mises Tzadikim, was necessary at that time? It's something that's very difficult to comprehend. And for Rebbe Simcha in Meshachachma, I learned an incredible insight and I want to share it with you. Imagine the two Yom Kippers, the first two Yom Kippers in the history of the world. The first Yom Kippur after the Chet Abel and the Yom Kippur that came after it. The first Yom Kippur after the Chet Abel, Klal Yisrael was in complete turmoil. Klal Yisrael during the Chet Abel didn't realize what a terrible story it was until Moshe Rabbeinu, by smashing the Luchas, brought home to them the tragedy of what had happened. This is a trillion, trillion dollar debt that will not be able to be paid in one generation. This is staggering. This has changed the course of history forever. The Luchas Rishenis will not be given. Grief and mourning seized Klal Yisrael. And Moshe Rabbeinu said to them, I'm going to try and make amends. I don't know whether I'll be successful. The whole of Klal Yisrael was anxious, are we going to be able to make it? Moshe Rabbeinu went up for 40 days and was not successful. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu said, try again, come again for another 40 days. And on Rosh Chedesh El, Moshe Rabbeinu went up. Klal Yisrael was so anxious and so insecure as to whether this will happen. The Ton of talks about how every day of the 40 days, as Moshe Rabbeinu was doing 
his lofty work, Lamaida, Klal Yisrael Lamata, was fasting every day, hoping against hope that Akif Moshe Rabbeinu will be successful and bring Slicha Mechila Bekapora to Klal Yisrael. On the 40th day, Tanak Velio says, Klal Yisrael, long of the time, they stayed the whole night they fasted. And the next day, Moshe Rabbeinu comes down from the heart that Tanak Velio describes his emotional experience. Who Boiche Kinegdon, the Hei Boiche Kinegdon. They were all crying. The Yin was saying, Moshe Rabbeinu, did we make it? Were we Zeicha? And Moshe Rabbeinu comes with this triumphant Pesura. Yud Gimel Midas, Slicha, Mechila, the Kapora. This is what Klal Yisrael will have every Yom Kippur from now forever. The next day starts. The beginning of the Tzibur of Oseli Mikdash, the Shachanti, the Seicham. For four days, Klal Yisrael pours out their hearts in Nidvus Aleif. And then the work of setting up the Mishkan begins. It ends Hanukkah with a tremendous bracha. And Klal Yisrael is waiting expectantly for the final moment of Akamas HaMishkan. And after the Shivas Kimei Amiluim comes with Shchemish Nisim. What would the second Yom Kippur have been like? It's after a mere simcha. We can imagine a wise guy turning around to his friend and saying, I always knew it would work out. It was bound to happen. It was just a question of Akinish Bokha trying to push his message. Akinish Bokha will never let us down. We would have done this chuba. We wouldn't have done this chuba. Akinish Bokha would have, would have forgiven us anyway. You keep us a day, we can clean everything and just move on. If that would be the approach, if that would be the attitude, if there would be a lack of feeling of the severity of Chayj, the Mesim, who says that there can be no second Yom Kippur. Mises Noda Ba'aviyu brought home to Klal Yisrael in that sobering moment, the severity of a Chayj, whoever you are, whatever you are, whenever you are, you slip, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is not Mabata, Kala Ima HaKadosh Baruch Hu Mabata, Yibotu Chayim. When Chal Yisrael saw the enormity of the Cheshmer of Achet, at that moment, Hu HaShadiba HaShem Neymar, B'Kroi Vaya Kodesh Lachnei Kala Omechavit. Now, the Kvayt HaShem will be Nizgala without costing a price in people taking lightly the Cheshmer of an Avonis. HaKadosh Baruch Hu says to Klal Yisrael, Moshe Rabbeinu, to say to Aaron, Achrei Moshe, Shnei Bnei Aaron, Bekovosem Bnei Hashem Bayom Usu, Bezoitz Yovoi Aaron Al HaKadosh. On Rosh Chodesh Nisan, HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, the greatest matona of this day was Mises Nod of Avil, because because of this, we're going to have a Yom Kippur where Klal Yisrael will understand what a Dimba Cheshmer is, what a Chet is, what Shuvah is, and what Kapara Zabaynas is. Nisus Nodavavio paved the way for all Yom Kippers at Seif Kol Oilem. This is an incredible thought, and it gives us a perspective on Chet, Shuvah, Slicha, Mechila, and Kapara, Shkerch, Rabbi Zayt,